What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in this tip, I'm gonna teach you how to resize materials and textures in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if I come in here and I model a rectangle um, and then I push pull that into a box, then I can come in here and I can apply a material to all these different faces. So in this case, I've selected SketchUp cinder block material. So if I apply this to all these faces, you can see that it shows up as a pretty, pretty small texture image, um, which is okay, but sometimes in your model, you need to resize your textures. So real quick, just the way SketchUp works is it takes an image for, for actual textures, it takes an image and just repeats it over and over again. So if you take a look at this wall, for example, you can see this light brick um, or this light block is repeated over and over again. And so you can tell that it's repeating this texture. Uh, usually the textures that you use are pretty seamless. So if you just kind of glance at it, then you don't necessarily see it unless you're looking for it. So anyway, but that's the way this works is um, it's just repeating this image over and over and over again. And you can come in here and you can adjust the size of the image that it's repeating. So anytime you're gonna work with materials and you need to adjust things having to do with materials, just go to the materials section in your tray. Uh, if you don't see your tray, just go to window default tray and you probably need to click show tray but if you can't find materials in there just make sure the materials bo box is checked um, so anyway you can come in here and you can adjust your materials using the edit tab so you select a material by clicking on it so in this case I have cinder block selected and you can click on this edit tab and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can change about your different materials now for this video, we're specifically concerned about these dimensions down here um, next to the little arrows and the little chain. So the dimensions are basically the size of the image that it's repeating. So in this case, the cinder block image that it has in here is one foot six inches wide by eight inches high, which you can see there's kind of a rectangular shape in here. So you can see almost exactly where that is. So that dictates how big this is. Um, but if you want to come in here and you want to adjust the size of this, you can come in here and you can change this to a different dimension. So in this case, I'm going to type in four foot and hit the enter key. And you can see what that did is that resized my texture over here. So my blocks are a whole lot bigger. So they're not as small as they were before. Uh, but if I come in here and I type in like six inches, hit the enter key, you can see the texture is really small in here. So sometimes you just have to kind of come in here and do some adjusting. Um, in order to get the kind of look that you want on this stuff. So, and, uh, so now, if you look off to the right of this, there's this chain that says lock, unlock, aspect ratio. And so what the chain means is it means that your aspect ratio is fixed. So that means when I resize this to a different size, the image is still keeping the same proportions. So it's still going to be... Um, the same kind of rectangular shape in here. As long as this is checked, you can do that. Sometimes though, you're gonna wanna stretch your image a little bit. You're gonna wanna make it a little taller while maintaining the width. And you can do that by coming in here and just clicking on this chain. And you can see that the chain is broken now. And so what that means is this is no longer locking your aspect ratio. So now if I come in here and I type in three foot and hit the enter key, you can see these look a lot more like blocks now because it kind of stretched everything up and down. So, or if I was to come in here and type six foot, then these are gonna be taller than they are wide. And so by doing that, you can come in here and you can adjust the way that these textures are sized. So, and then if you're ever at a point where you don't like what you did, you wanna go back to the original aspect ratio of your image, just come over here and click on these arrows and that'll resize this to your original texture size. So you can come in here and you can adjust stuff that way. Uh, you can also adjust texture size by coming in here and I'm gonna get a little more into this in another tutorial, but you can come in here using the position section of your texture and then you can click and drag the green push pin in order to resize this as well. But generally this tutorial is more designed so that you can use this piece over here to do that. But you can also access different things in here by coming in here, right clicking on texture and using the position section. And then if you ever don't like what you did to that, you can just come in here and click reset position to put it back the way that it was. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, if you liked it, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting 
me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, that helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.